Ladies and gentlemen, in our main event of the evening, BKB presents five two-minute rounds of bare-knuckle boxing in this vacant British bantamweight title clash. Introducing first, in the blue corner, representing Nottingham, with a BKB record of three wins, four losses, Aaron the Baron McCallum! <laughs> Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner, representing Nottingley. He is undefeated in BYB and BKB, Mark Short Fuse Tipping! Clive Allenson is our referee in charge of the action. Okay, lads, both lady rules are right. Watch the heads when you're coming in. No strikes to the back of the head. No holding and striking. Remember, the count is 20. Watch the fingers. Good luck. Let's go. For the final time tonight, let's get down to business. It's amazing that this night has flown by. And yeah. that shows you the quality yeah, of the yeah, fight. Yeah, I agree with you, Tom. There, when the fight, when the fights, you know, are flying through, and you get to, you know, you skip two, three, four hours, and it seems like it's gone over in half an hour. That's a sign of a good night. Now, a big height advantage for Mark Tiffin. But as and he likes but it up, Tom. Aaron McCallum says everybody has a height advantage over me, so he's used to it. And no disrespect to Tiffin, he's not like he uses them advantage, uh, you know, at times. But he's popping that jab, it's nice, but he likes a good tear up himself. Oh, good shot. Look, there he goes, you see, he's coming back himself straight away. Look at that. Fainting. Fainting, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. McCallum. Sometimes just puts his head down and it, there you go, and just invites that. For a taller man, yeah. it's it's an easier target for the uppercut. That uppercut, there he goes. And, oh, he and caught that's, him. That's one of his uh, signature punches as well, Tiffin, is the right uppercut. This is the main event. Come on, London! There he goes. Again. Wild throw from Aaron McCallum there. Went nowhere near it, and a look of surprise from Mark Tiffin. Not happy with the lunge. Good, good oh, shot, shot again. Tiffin doubled up on that right hand underneath. Aaron McCallum needs to work inside. Yeah, he needs to get close and he needs he's to work get when he's there, yeah. Because the height and reach will cause him a problem. If he gets inside, he negates that straight away. That's a great shot from, uh, from Tiffin, that right uppercut. Draws his man in, throws that right uppercut on its own, even sometimes. Great movement from both fighters, yeah. but Tiffin, Tiffin in particular looks light on his feet. Here they go again. Yeah, yeah, that was right, wasn't it? They give it to him. McCallum got that round. Yeah, yeah so I, what, that's what my confusion was, Tom, because I actually thought... Tiffin uh, had won uh, it. Tiffin had won that round quite clear, to be honest. Well, the judges are the people in charge. Yeah. Obviously didn't see it that way. Once again, I apologise for the confusion. in there, his usual stance, wants to come under, but McCallum there with that, and he can bang McCallum. I mean, McCallum's the aggressor, don't get me wrong, Tom, but... It's, a, it's, it's not about, a, it's about shots. Yeah, shots that are actually landing there. On the target area. I just felt that Griffin had done a little bit, well, thought he'd landed a bit, there's that uppercut again. Well, it's good pressure from uh, McCallum, don't It's a good wrong. fight, let's yeah. tell you, this is a cracking top of the bill fight. You can't take your eyes off it because both are trying to land the big punch. There's McCallum with that right. Bowling right hand over the top. But he, 
because he's a lot shorter, McCann, when he leads with a jab, he has to lead upward. Yeah, and you can see it's quite an angle as well. In yeah, itself. for sure. Well, if Allison get in a grip of them, wanting them to fight. Shot from McCallum, finishing McCallum that there. exchange, yeah. Oh, Ooh, right, good right hand. Good shot, right hand over the top. Third round. Who's taking Proper home fight that as belt? Well. Not in Lee or Nottingham. Both good, both fit, aren't they? Yeah. Both fit, both That's light on their feet. That's good footwork from Callum. I've never really seen him on the back foot like that before, but he has got some decent footwork, to be fair. Well, that's what he's been working yeah, on. Yeah, moving well on his feet, yeah. The technique side of the boxing. Always had a heart. And both of these have got big hearts. Lots of desire. It's a good shot again from McCallum, trying that overhand right hand. That's the oh! I was just about Boom. to say, if he times that overhand right hand right, it's good night, and that's it, Clive, from the side, right thing there, he's all over the place. Tiffin, legs have got, he's done well to stay up there, Tom, to be fair. That was a He's absolutely delighted. Peach of a punch. OK, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening was stopped. After 45 seconds in the third round due to a savage KO. The new British bantamweight champion in the blue corner, Aaron McKellen! Talk me through the fight and the new. Go on, talk me through it. Well, what I'd like to say first, thank you, Jesus, for everything. And this fight, it was dedicated to a, a really strong little young boy. Oh, God, it's making me... Woo! Charlie Thompson, he's six years old. He's got leukemia, man. And he... I, I've just been talking with this guy on Facebook and he's put him on and... I don't know, I think he was just... It was just a sent from God to shout his name out today and fight for him. Because he's the hardest person I've ever, ever seen in my life. This is what we do is easy compared to what he's doing. Now, can you ask me that question again, Rob? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you just are you dedicating this fight to him? Take... Yes, yes, mate. This is all for him. Yes, Charlie. Get well soon, brother. I'll come see you as soon as I'm done on holiday, man. Love you, bro. Yeah, so back to the initial question. I would say great performance, great power shots at the end. Talk us through the fight a little bit. How did you feel? Yeah, um, you know, did you feel in de not danger, but obviously they're just being in there. Did you feel under pressure at any time? Yeah, well, not once he caught me, I'm my jaw. I thought, yeah, I can take that. that no offence whatsoever. Um, so it gave me that little boost. I thought I can be a bit more daring now and get in. But I didn't do fully what my coach was telling me. I was still a bit lazy with my jab. So he's going to tell me off as well, as well as give me a big hug. But I knew my power could take him out if I caught him. But I, everyone knows I wanted to take him to the five rounds. I wanted, I wanted to... As, as, as much as I get on with him outside doing and stuff like that, I wanted to prove all my, all my stuff I've done in the camp. And I wanted to punish him for five rounds, as horrible it sounds, mate. But, yeah, win's a win. I'll take the knockout. Yeah, I was just saying, we were talking in the commentary, you know, you seem to find your time. You were trying shots, you tried that bolo right hand yeah. over the top. You had a little bit of success early on, uh, but like you say, you found your timing, you found your distance, you found the range, and that was a big, big, a big, big shot that you could, uh, took him out with. Yeah, but believe it or not, the video that you shown, I had Tiffin on while I was warming up in the back, and I just took a glimpse at the screen, and he threw his right hand, and obviously you shadow box him while you're warming up. And I slipped it and I threw a row over right and most probably identical, I've just knocked him out then, mate. Can I also say, right, the biggest achievement tonight wasn't this. It was getting this. Yeah. Off Sean, where's Sean gone? In my eyes. The, the legend that is Sean George. The legend Sean George, he's the goat. He's the goat of BKB, let me tell you. He's for everybody, big and small. I don't want to do it the way he says it, but you know. 
That's a big respect for Sean. No, fair play to you, man. So let's talk about where we go from now. I mean, I don't want to spoil your win or anything, but what we're looking at next, um, are we looking at world titles? Or, sorry, sorry, are we looking to defend your title? And who, any names, you know, that spring to mind? I don't really like calling anybody out, mate. Uh, I'll, I'll sit and wait for Jim, because I'm, I'm going on holiday on Tuesday, so I'm going to enjoy 10 days away. Um, but my hands are still all right, so... If there's out near Christmas, Jim. So you're not getting in next week, are you? <laughs> you know me, I fight on every show if I'm all right, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm game all the time, bro. As long as I'm fit and my hands are all right, I'm game, man, I'm game. No, great performance, great win, congratulations. Looking forward to seeing you soon. All the very best, my friend. I'm the new, well done.